Welcome to a spooky vlog. I am Nastasia Marquez. In this vlog, we are focused on Halloween. We will talk about astrology, voice acting, and anything else that comes to mind. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> so today is a pretty busy day. I had a client reach out yesterday for a last minute project that he needs this morning. He's on Eastern time. I'm in Central. So uh, it's 830 and I have to record now. I typically don't record so early in the morning because I'm usually going to a workout class and it takes some time for my vocal cords to warm up and for me to be ready to speak. Um, my voice and everybody's voice changes throughout the day, so I'm typically more aware of that in the mornings. So I'm going to do a little bit of a warm-up, warm up my vocal cords, make sure that I have full resonance, get rid of any mucus or any congestion that I might have had while sleeping, and then hop into that project to get him delivery before 10 a.m., so I have about an hour. And then I need to go to my singing lesson, and that is all the way across town and I have to be there by 11. So I need to get this project in and then leave for my singing class. And then my singing class can't go over because I booked a pretty big commercial spot with my agent and they want to record today. And I found out yesterday. So everything just kind of came in in one big, you know, rush last night to schedule everything today. I also have some auditions to do for like Disney Cruise, tequila, there's an animation, there's one for a museum, which sounds kind of cool. It's like a some type of 3D experience. So we have a full day today. Let's jump into it. Yes. And the real coconut flavor and that rich, creamy texture. None, just smooth, coconutty goodness. This was a really fun session to record, and it was the first time that I was able to act with another voice actor on the call. So the person who was playing my friend in the session, I could hear her and we could go back and forth, and the audio engineer was recording on their end. So it was very relaxed, a very easygoing session. The client would interject as they wanted to give us some direction. And then like with all sessions of this nature, there was a lot of time where we're just sitting in silence. We can't hear Hear what they're talking about because they're muted and the clients are discussing on their end the finalization, final takes, anything else that they may or may not want. And at the end of the day, everybody was happy. Almost everybody has a theory about what happened to Jody. 
But there's one lead in particular that the authorities are eager to follow up on. Jody's boyfriend, Colby, who's allegedly in Texas. Investigators get to work confirming Colby's whereabouts. But could he have killed Morgan? But that's not the only drama swirling around FedEx. When Morgan gets the promotion to manager she'd been gunning for, many of her male colleagues became jealous. And then the investigators learn these same two managers and one of Morgan's friends were involved in the cell phone incident that Morgan's mom had warned them about. Morgan's phone was unlocked, and these two guys just started scrolling. 13 days after Morgan's phone... I really love that I can record about death and murder and betrayal and get into the darkness and the Halloween spirit and then turn around and knock out an audition where I have to sing Wheels on the Bus in my brightest, teariest voice for a really popular kid's YouTube channel. Really lets me shake things up a bit. Now that the day is done and I can finally relax a little bit, my husband is working overtime so I'll be on my own tonight and it's an intense full moon in Aries which I typically don't feel one way or another but I've been feeling that very intense energy lately and then I also started my cycle today so my overall general feeling is not feeling great and I decided it's time for a little self-love and I love a good bath. I like to make bath tea so in this mixture I put Butterfly pea flower, rose petal, calendula, lavender, chamomile, and coconut powder. And then I also put a cup of um, natural mineral sea salt in there as well. And this was the first time that I tried a Seether hair mask, and it actually smells kind of like a cow feed. I don't know why, but what it's made from, but it's some Arabian beauty secret to make your hair nice and strong and beautiful and silky. So I went ahead and gave that a try. I always find myself journaling whenever I need to process a lot of thoughts and emotions. And with it being the full moon, it's actually the perfect time to do this kind of practice and to purge what's been on my mind and get it out on paper and feel like I've externalized it and validated it and recognized it. And sometimes I do this whenever I feel like I'm not being heard or understood and I have to go and journal it to myself. And I'm sure this used to scare my husband, but I used to ritualistically burn the writing into the universe to release it that way so he would come out of our bedroom and find me on the patio burning things <laughs> but I guess because this is what I'm doing naturally and it happens to be a great time for it I must be aligned in some fashion I also happen to be in the part of my book where I'm reading about Pluto and Chiron and there's a lot going on with those two bodies in our solar system with this full moon. So I guess things really are just coming into alignment and all of these intense emotions are really meant to be felt and processed. So while I'm being easy on myself and processing all of that and learning about the transformative power of Pluto and perhaps the opportunities to search for a healing or healed perspective with Chiron being the wounded healer and trying to recognize the role that I play in my own perspective and how I choose to absorb the world around me and how I choose to take responsibility for the ways that I feel and the ways that I care for myself, then um, I guess you know, that's just kind of what's been on my mind. And I think it's a really perfect opportunity to pay attention to those bodies in the solar system, especially whenever they're, I'm feeling their gravity right now. And then I can, you know, delve into my self-love with red light therapy and phasia massage, which has been doing wonders for my muscular structure. So I think everything balances out by the end of the day. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time.